Hey guys, welcome back to Liam Taylor Guitar. Today I want to share with you a composition technique called addition and subtraction. It's actually two compositional techniques, I guess. Well, let, let's just get into it. You'll see. Addition and subtraction can be used with any instrument in a piece of music, and it's especially gratifying when it's done gradually. Simply put, addition and subtraction is about adding or removing notes one at a time from a pattern. Pretty simple. It's one of those you do what it sounds like you do situations. Some pieces of music, for example, in rock might start with a guitar riff and a drum groove, but the drum groove could actually be introduced gradually. So rather than just everything at once, you could play just the kick drum and then add some hi-hat. And then at last you add the snare and then you go into the whole song with everyone else. This is kind of a similar idea to that, but we're going to use pitches in a phrase rather than hits on a drum kit. So let's go into Guitar Pro where we have a simple motif. Simple subtraction would involve removing one of these notes every time the phrase repeats. And which note you remove is kind of up to you as the composer. I'm just going to remove the last note in every phrase. So this fifth fret can go away. And then we're going to copy and paste. And now this one can go away. Finally, this note can go away. So now we have this. And now you can use addition to gradually reintroduce those notes. And you can do that in any order. Again, it's up to you. So I am going to introduce them in a different order to how they disappeared. So now we're subtracting all the notes and then adding them back in again. Now we have this. That was addition and subtraction. That's all the information you need to know to start going and using the technique or techniques, I guess, in your own work. If you end up using addition or subtraction in any of your compositions, let me know. I would love to hear them. You can send me a message on Twitter, just direct at LT Guitarist, and I will uh, take a listen to whatever you do. I'll see you next week. Toodaloo. We Will you be a ticket now and splash more? No. Will you take it to mount and splash more? No. Will you take it to mount and splash more? No. Will you be a ticket now and splash more? No. Will you be a ticket now and splash more? No. Will you take it to mount and splash more? No. Will you take it to mount and splash more? No. Will you take it to mount and splash more? No. Will you take it to mount and splash more? No. Will you take it to mount and splash more? No. Will you take it to mount and splash more? No. Will you take it to mount and splash more? No. Will you take it to mount and splash more? No. Will you take it to mount and splash more? No. So shut up and quit bugging me! Yeah, of course. Well, 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 This is better to be the best piece of music I've ever written, I swear to God. This is a really good start. It is wacky. I don't think we need to talk about that. I think that's clearly a masterpiece.
Okay, let's get into it before the whole Jackie Weaver situation kicks off again. How's it going, Internet? This is uh, LT guitarist, your old buddy, Liam Taylor, from the Internet. Like, uh, I need to put this on. Oh, yeah, that makes a real difference to that sticker. Um, I, I'm an awful human being. Uh, I, I'm aware of that, and I, I often like to lean into that. So what we're doing today is we're remixing something from... Um, a TV show. If you like Taskmaster, but you're not up to date with Taskmaster on Channel 4 in the UK, um, this might ruin one of the most incredible TV moments of all time. Uh, I'm going to assume that if you're still here, it's because you don't mind having things spoiled, or indeed I've already spoiled it because of the title of this stream. Um, spoilers start now. Mark Wozniak did a tiny, awful fart on Taskmaster, and it's literally one of the funniest things in the world. It isn't the way I've told it, but it is legitimately one of the funniest things I've ever seen. Um, so, if you haven't seen it, I strongly suggest that you do, but you're here now, so watch this for the moment. Um, I am on the small screen. I have loaded up battery, a few instances of contact, and I'm also going to add a sampler track. Um, and I'm going to close that for a second. So I have completely legally acquired um, various elements of that show from the other night. And I think there is just a um, an audio track here that we need to cut up to find the, uh, the infamous fart sound. So I'm going to make a piece of music that's like less than a minute long, I think. Um... And then I might pair it with some of the video stuff whenever, you know. Um, well, I mean, I, maybe if I have a moment. Okay, it could, it could, it could. And obviously there's music in the background of it, so we need to kind of find a way to um, dislodge that. Maybe some of the Cubase tools will help us do that. For the moment, I literally just want to find the fart noise. Um, yeah, a tiny, tiny, tiny... That is what we're after uh, <laughs> and he also makes a uh, an amazing comment here i think oh, it's an absolute casserole down there <laughs> yeah um you know what i'm not going to give you context for that if you haven't watched it you're just going to have to watch it dislodge how's it going samantha tub so sambath sub <laughs> i've screwed up your name sambath tub how's it going uh sambath tub sambath tub there, I've said it every possible way I could have said it wrong. Um, so, that is the awkward sound that we want. I'm going to take that and I'm going to put it inside of the sampler track. Oh, actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to first off bounce out that awful sound. I'm just going to do that and I'm going to do that. I'm going to increase the gain quite a lot. Just to tidy up the sound. I think we can get rid of that a bit more. Yeah, it's still got a little bit of... I think it's the tail of like a musical stinger or something, so I wonder if we can EQ that out. There we go. Awful. Truly awful. Uh, so we're going to audio mix down. We're going to go uh, mono... Or did I accidentally downlink something in mono a while ago? Yeah, I may have done something wrong. It's okay. Uh, mono down mix. And we want to make a bounces folder. Um, there we go. I'm just going to call it squish. Because that's awful. Um... And now that that's done, we're going to open that up inside of the sampler track. Squish. Which makes it playable on the keyboard. So I think if we put that there. A little bit of a fade. And it sort of ends. Uh, 
Uh, can we give it a little bit of a release, perhaps? That would be helpful. Uh. Okay, uh, I wanted, let's make it high quality. Just playing around with some of these. Just see if we can make it slightly more interesting sounding. I'll do. Okay. I'm just playing around with buttons now. Cool. So that's our silly fart instrument. Um, didn't mean to make myself big screen there. Bit awkward. It's got a bit of glide in it as well, so if we, like, jump up and down. It's got a little bit of a pitchy glissando, which is quite nice, because it's not actually a um, pitched instrument, not properly. Uh, so, I think we want to make, like, a bit of a build-up over which we can have the, the, the dialogue in the background. So if we find the section we want... Exact some real effort. I mean, it must be possible, right? Uh, maybe that, because then how long is that? If we go for, if we say twenty-two, that's uh, forty seconds, sixteen seconds. Mm, okay, so let's maybe. Let's add like a really simple beat, um, and then we'll see what we can sort of do structurally. That was the wrong track. So just using battery, oh, I probably need to load something into battery, that'd be real helpful, wouldn't it? A bit much. Yeah, maybe. Um, we can always change the kit afterwards um, if we really want to. Oops. There we go. Let's find a nice kick. Yeah, probably that one. Really simple beat. Uh, let's layer in snares. Probably some lower ones. That one will do. And we're going to raise the velocity of those quite a lot. And we're going to push them slightly forward. And these other ones slightly back. Oops. Um, nice, really nice, simple, more or less beat. Uh, we're going to push those hi hats ever so slightly back as well, just to give it a bit of groove. Uh, so that might be something we have afterwards that feels a bit more active. Um, so we want something kind of like just kick drum, I guess. We 
we're just going to do four on the floor. Oopsie. And then lower the velocity of those. In fact, lower all the velocity a bit. Um, and I'm also going to change it up so it's not like... I don't know, it's, it, there's quite a lot of detail in there. That's more like what I want. Cool. Uh, so how long? We want to do like a cheesy build-up, I think. Um, so we might change this first bit to be like dum. Dum dum. Uh, let's add maybe just that kind of hi-hat add it here as well oh yeah I did the wrong thing, that's fine and copy, paste I mean, it must be possible, right? Yeah, we changed. We changed. That was like some real effort. Um, so I think one of the things that's a little bit annoying at the moment is the, the music in the background of this. So I need to try and remember how we get rid of uh, music in something. I think it's something like Spectra Layers. You can tell how much of you Spectra Layers. I can't remember its name. Uh, yeah, so then I would like to Layers Uh, yeah, no, I can't remember what it is you do. That's good, isn't it? Shows you how much I use it. Um, let's see if we can EQ it out. Oh, I've already got a bit of EQ going on there. Oh, that was to capture the fart sound. Uh, let's open up. Oh, we have uh, dialogue denoise. I mean, it must be possible, right? Yeah, we'll change. We'll change. That's better. That was like some real effort. <laughs> Unless I like, I could just match that tempo, couldn't I? That might be the smartest thing to do. So what we'll do then is we'll find like a nice uh, loop to help us work out the tempo. Da, 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 da. That was like some real effort. Uh, so I think that's going to be... Oh. A bit faster than that. Um, oh, if I... Oh, is it freaking out? Because Spectralize is still open. Spectralize isn't open. Oh, weird. Okay. Um, so maybe I just need to sync that up then. I mean, it must be possible, right? It will change. I mean, it must be possible, right? Possible, right? I think that's there. It must be possible, right? Changed. Changed. That was like some real effort. <laughs> um, gross. It just gets grosser every time. Um, I think that 
پیس میبرم Uh, and then the positioning of that squelch is like not ideal either. Um, Changed. Changed. Um, Changed. That still needs to be at the start of a beat, I think. Changed. Let's try and separate that again because I think that's a bar. Dum day, dum. Yeah. So it's going to be slower, in fact, or a lot faster. 57, let's try that. That sounds a bit more like it. some real effort so that happens on the last beat of a section which is actually perfect okay so um so we can sync it now some real effort. And then does it come in there, the full beat? It feels like it needs one extra, doesn't it? Uh, also, that beat doesn't feel right anymore. So I'm going to take that and rework this to be the proper beat. Um, Uh, let's go boom to boom cut it. I think something like that probably. Um yeah, and let's also take those. Maybe that. Uh, cool. Now let's take snares and put them slightly front. Uh, some of these hi hats, put them slightly back. Let's layer the snares. Nice. I think there needs to be a bar of 5-4. And I'm normally wrong about that sort of thing. <laughs> so uh, let's find out. Uh, no, not tempo. What you want about? Uh, signature, my bad. Uh, so we are going to change it. Here, five four. We're gonna change it back. Four four. Cool. Um, it could. It could. I have a moment. It could. It could you know, maybe if I have a moment. Oh, if I, I mean, I, maybe if I have a moment. 
it could, it could, it could, it could be that something happens. Okay, that's quite cool. I mean, it must be possible, right? We're changed. We're changed. That was excellent. Real effort. Um. I'm going to duplicate that because I want to have a little bit of effects on like some of his choice phrases. Maybe if I have a moment. I mean, it must be possible, right? Uh, must be possible, right, for some reason. Sounds like it could have a lot of delay on it and be quite fun. Um, possible, right? So I'm just going to make that fade in. Possible, right? And we're going to go... Uh, where is it gone? Delay, ping pong, quite fast, a hundred percent. Yeah. Changed. Could be that something happens. I mean, it must be possible, right? Changed. 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 That was excellent. Real effort. Uh, I'm going to leave, what was that phrase? Yeah. That was excellent, real effort. Maybe if I have a moment. Okay, it could, it could, it could, it could be that something happens. You know, maybe if I have a moment. Okay, it could, it could, it could, it could be that something happens. I mean, it must be possible, right? Changed. Changed. That was real effort. Maybe if I have a moment. Okay, it could, it could, it could, it could be that something happens. Uh, just going to change up the possible, kit right? slightly. Changed. Changed. That was excellent. Real effort. That's better. Cool. Um, bar of five four seems to work really well. Um, I would like to uh, swap out one of these contacts for Retrolog. I pressed the wrong button. Um, I would like to try and take the uh, the Taskmaster theme. On base, or at least an approximation of it, uh, which might be really hard because I'm not very good at that sort of thing. Um. Can I steal it off the internet? That'd be really handy. Uh, so that's D. I oh know that's a different thing. Ah, that's them. But da 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 da. I suppose we could do that. I've got too many things. <laughs> I might just do my own thing based on that, because that's 
sort of similar to the main theme. And it'll kind of fit, I think. Let's have a listen. Oops. Oopsie. If I change it to uh, mono glide. Something like that, for example. So we can say it's kind of based on the um, the Taskmaster theme. Um, So we have this. We'll change that second repeat. Um, uh, to something more, a bit lower. Yeah. Uh, let's just change up the bass ever so slightly. Use the lofo to give a little bit of vibrato. Uh, so source lofo one, destination five pitch. Not that much. 
at Oscillator 3-inch. Yeah, it's quite subtle, but I like it. Uh, what else can we do? We'll do a bit of cut off as well. going to the cutoff. So these two lifers are sort of flying off each other. bit of mix on this together before we start adding the fart noises in. I guess we also want this um, this kind of end bit to feel a bit more like a fill. Uh, so we're going to add extra hi-hats there. Um, We're going to do something like this, I think. Uh, I'm just going to get real silly with it. Uh, we'll maybe change up. Uh, like so. We just do like a really big fill like that.
uh, multiband maybe for the drums. Uh, monster drum preset is usually what I use. A little bit of reverb as well. image the bass as well so the bass stays mid Uh, we got to boost the volume of that quite a lot and cross over. That's a quite a lot of. Uh, okay, and then we're going to add some extra drums in here. I think then. Da, 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 da. Uh, and then just double it again. And increase that velocity, but lower that one. Da -ga -da -ga -da -ga -da -ga. Just trying stuff out, just see what that does. We just have like again another crazy fast one in there. Yeah, doesn't feel incredibly bassy, does it? We've got to find a way to boost that a bit, I think. Real effort. Um, so maybe hmm. uh, maybe we have we'll automate this the low end we're gonna undo that uh, reduction because it's kind of nerfed by like Bit there like five uh, so we'll just undo that in this space so it's a, a tiny boost actually yeah that'll make a bit of a difference uh, I'm also going to stick a couple effects on the master bus just to 
tightens up, makes it feel a bit more like a song. That was like some real effort. A little bit of EQ as well. Uh, oh, it's an absolute casserole down there. <laughs> uh, let's add in some of the stupid fart noise. Um, Um, so we'll go... Something like that, maybe we go higher. that sound oh yeah that needs to be back there Maybe it needs to be have more of a rhythm. Uh, let's scrap that. But, but, but. I'm guessing when I do this. Um, and then we'll copy whatever's happening. Oops, I didn't mean to delete all that. Copy whatever's happening here. So we'll go F sharp. And then E. Da, 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 da. Oh, excuse me. Uh, let's stick some chords in there as well. I wonder, this might be a really bad idea. I wonder if this could provide chords. Uh, I'm going to copy the bass line. Um. Uh, it could be like... Uh, D to A with an F in the middle. Uh, 
I could put a glide on it, didn't I? Um, hmm. Let's just sort of that bit. <laughs> Uh, so if I get rid of... the idea of having it in there maybe a little bit lower just to like build the rhythm out a little bit um uh a down to g goes up to I'm just trying to think what other stuff I can I can incorporate from the different parts um, and the same first two bars from there and we'll just keep that section I think Have it lower down. Maybe we could go like uh, ucha unda unda. Like that sort of thing. Yeah. So this then that needs to be higher. gonna have to double that with something else uh, something in reactor usually is a good bet um, what do you mean demo time we are about. It's my license deactivated itself again. It's really helpful when it does that. Perfect. I'm going to 
do a few things. I'm going to get rid of, like, all the echo. Um... Still a bit of reverb on there somewhere. Uh, I'm going to lower that. Oh, not really any point in lowering that volume. Um, lead squish. I'm just going to label that one. And then lead synth. What I'm going to do. I know you can't see those two very well. I'm going to add a effects channel. Um, to those. Uh, I'm just going to call it lead effects. And that's going to sort of combine the two uh, together. I know you can't see what I just did, but that's fine. Uh, I am going to take the audio sends and put them post fader. Post fader? Pre fader. Uh, so then I can literally just nuke the volume on there. And actually, I want uh, that lead synth to come through a bit quieter. So we're going to go minus seven or something. And then we're going to do a few things like we're going to EQ it as if it's a synth. Well, I mean, it is. Uh, synth tight, I think. And then we're going to stick uh, maybe a little bit of chorus on it or something. And then some delay. gonna bring that in on the second repeat uh, so we're just gonna start off with that one ideally he would say absolute casserole there uh, it's an absolute casserole down it's an absolute an absolute and again if you don't get the reference i'm not sorry go watch the thing an absolute casserole down an absolute casserole an absolute casserole uh an absolute casserole perfect um it's an absolute casserole. Maybe we just get rid of that. It's an absolute casserole. Just that last snare. We'll do like a flam. And then we'll copy. Uh, oh, I shouldn't have got rid of that fill. Damn it. Okay, we're just going to. Da, 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 da. Uh, oh, I shouldn't have done all of that. My bad. Right, we're going to duplicate that. Idiot limb. And then we're just going to get rid of those. That's okay. I make mistakes all the time. Nobody notices most of them. It's great. Um, so then for the drums, we got rid of all of this business. Um. And we just had a flam at the end, didn't we? That sort of thing. Uh, 
Uh, and then the sample was... That, I think. An absolute casserole. An absolute... Oh, it's an absolute casserole. 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 Uh, maybe we take... Uh, right, how long have we got? That's 19 seconds to, okay, just short of a minute. So that's, we don't want it much longer than that, I think. Maybe if I have a moment. Okay, it could, it could, it could, it could be that something happens. I mean, it must be possible, right? Yeah, we changed, we changed. That was like some real effort. An absolute casserole. Uh, I didn't mean to get rid of that bar there. Oh, it's an absolute casserole. Um, let's take that and put some of that on the delay channel. Uh, I think we might want to do some fun effects with contact as well. Um, um, Uh, let's change the the mix on that um, so we can hear it a bit more. Absolute casserole. That's nice. Oh, it's an absolute casserole. Uh, and then we need to end on something. We could just end on the phrase absolute casserole again. Um, I'm not happy with how intense this is. Maybe we need to just do that. So we only boost that a little bit. Because uh, we could also copy that into here as well. Uh, that sort of works. Maybe it does just want to be 4-4. Four, four. I'm always wrong about that sort of thing. Um, let's, let's try it. So we're just going to move everything back a beat. Because I just felt like it needed more space, you know?
Uh, okay, I'm, I'm happy with that, so we can get rid of the signature track, can't we? Um, I want to see if there's something we can do with the way this is sampled to make it more, more good. Uh, and I don't know an awful lot about... Oh, I've lost my... Repeat. There we are. I don't know a lot about uh, I don't know a lot about the uh, the sampler tracks and it's all sort of new to me. Oh, that's just pitch modulation. I don't know why I'd want that. I don't know which is better. That feels more like a squishy fart noise, doesn't it? We looped it. Uh, okay. Now we're talking. I like it. I think it needs to be re-pitched slightly because the rest is in D.
Uh, where's the pitch gone? Uh, if I just copy over, this is just for like the purposes of tuning. Uh, yeah, like that. I'm just going to repeat a bar. That sounds really good. Um, oh, it's an absolute casserole. Nice, much better. Uh, what was the thing? There was a thing. I was going to do a thing. I uh, can't remember. Oh, it's quite loud, isn't it? Let's fix that. Better. Oh, yeah, make sure that those are actually in uh, a key. So C up to D sort of makes sense. C up to F makes sense. Yeah, those kind of make sense. Okay, just checking. Um, let's see if there's any other phrases we can use like to then end it with. That would be really helpful. Here we go. <laughs> You can go and clean yourself up if you want. Thanks, Alex. Maybe we just use that. You can go clean yourself up if you want. Thanks, Alex. You can go and clean yourself up if you want. Thanks, Alex. I think that'll do it. Perfect. Okay, so... Um, in which case, I'm going to scrap all of that stuff from the beginning. It could... It could... It could, it could be that something happens. I think I need to stick more stuff at the start here. Um, are we in the same key though? That's the question. Effort. That was excellent. Real effort. That was excellent. Real effort. That was excellent. Real effort. Some real uh, we're going to change the pitch there. Uh, we're going to change the release of that bass. Um, we're just going to automate it so it's a bit different. Uh, so we want... Uh, Release. 
Uh, I've selected the wrong thing. Oh, no, I haven't. What am I doing? Uh, Base, envelope, uh, amplifier, DC, A release. There we go. So it stays where it was for that bit. Some real Maybe put that there. Make some real effort. I think we need like a filter sweep into that awful noise. Uh, so we'll maybe go, I don't know, let's see if we can find some sounds. Uh, analog dreams, perhaps retro machines. Maybe there's like uh, strings or something. If we do that, but like super effective, uh, effect effected. So we're just going to go a uh, high, high D. Uh, so we're going to, we're just going to call that sweep. We're going to do that. And then bring it right down again. Uh, so then what are we going to add to it? We need to move from Morph 3 to Morph 1. Uh, so then it's Morph a control, Morph, Memory Morph. Heck yeah. Uh, so we want it to end there and we want it to go from about here, I think. Let's have a look. Perfect. Uh, maybe a bit slower than that. Uh, and we're also going to um, not quite so aggressive there, I think. Uh, that's a bit better. I'm going to loop it. It's going to be really annoying, I'm afraid. I'm going to kill that low end that we don't need. We're also going to put on a filter effect. Actually, we're going to stretch out. So it's going to happen from like here. So then we're going to go automate position. Pause. Uh, do we want to go up or down? I can't really remember. We want to go the other way. Nah, definitely up. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if that's actually going to achieve anything. <laughs> Yeah, not sure. It is is quite silly, and it's not necessarily a bad thing. It needs to be the whole bar. 
I don't know. It feels like that should be the point where it all happens, you know? Uh, all everything happens. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, not into it. Oh, it's an asteroid. Um, I'm going to take. I'm gonna I'm gonna add a little bit more synthesizer in there. We're gonna go um, contacts again. Uh, we're gonna go maybe analog dreams. Analog dreams always goes wrong for me. Uh, we're gonna try just like a pad. Maybe. That's quite nice. Uh, so, what chords do we want for this oh, it's an section? Casserole. those chords D minor 7 C major Doesn't feel tonally quite right. Casserole. That might be the way to do it. Um, so I'm just going to record in. Uh, did it do it? Oh, it did do it. Just two bars of each, I think. Because uh, then we have the option to uh, screw with it a bit. I'm going to make sure they're all on that beat. Two, three. Because uh, then we can just play around with the order of them a bit. Um, just going to call that pad. So what if we went the other way around? Dosh, 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 dosh. So it kind of ascends a little bit. I feel like it needs that tonic at the start, though. Because then we can end with a tonic as well. Like, a real short one if we wanted to. Hold. 
Jones. Mm, other way around. Hold. Nah, I think we do the descending thing. And then that last chord should just be whatever those are. Uh, so G's fifth is D. That sort of works. Maybe. An absolute casserole. Maybe that needs to be major. I've got a few ones. Clean yourself up if you want. Thanks, Alex. I'm just gonna kill that, I think. You can go and clean yourself up if And then we're just gonna nuke the volume at the very end. So we can hear the stupid stuff. You can go and clean yourself up if you want. Thanks, Alex. Uh right, okay. Um Maybe if I have a moment. Okay, it could it could it could something happens. I mean, it must be possible, right? It all changed. It all changed. That was excellent. Real effort. Absolute casserole. Oh, it's an absolute casserole. Oh, it's an absolute casserole. I think we do like a bass dive or something. Oh, it's an absolute casserole. That might be funny. Um, so we'll go pitch bend. I I really love this uh this way of doing pitch bends in Cubase now because it's the best. Um, oh, it's an absolute cast. So down here we want to be like all the way down. Uh, so we're gonna take that I think there. Oh, it's an absolute casserole. <laughs> It's an absolute casserole. Oh, it's an absolute casserole. It's got to end there, probably. Oh, it's an absolute casserole. Oh, it's an absolute casserole. Uh, it's retrolog, so we can actually tell it to dive a lot further, like an octave, for example. Oh, it's an absolute casserole. That's what we want. Oh, 
It's an absolute casserole. Oh, it's an absolute casserole. Maybe do a little bit more pitch bending as well, just for fun, like, um... Uh, just like a slight up there, for example. So that's zero, that's zero. And we're just going to do something like that, maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Just a bit more extreme. I might copy that and just put it in the other one. Uh, just, you know, it's all about details, really, isn't it? Nice. A little bit of pit, a uh, little bit of uh, volume there, I think, because it's it sort of still dominates that bass bit a little bit, doesn't it? I'm just gonna lower it a touch. Oh, it's an absolute casserole. Go and clean yourself up if you want. Thanks, Alex. Oh, it's an absolute casserole. Oh, it's an absolute casserole. Oh, it's an absolute casserole. That's nice. So it's still in there. Oh, it's an absolute casserole. It's an absolute casserole. You can go and clean yourself up if you want. Thanks, Alex. Um, imager, I think. Oh, it's an absolute casserole. Clean yourself up if you want. Thanks, Alex. Maybe if I have a moment. Uh, I'm going to put okay, a little could, bit could, of could, could. Denizer in there just to clean up a tiny it bit. Possible, right? Changed. Changed. Might be time to start looking at the video elements as well. Oh, it's an absolute casserole. You can go and clean yourself up if you want. Thanks, Alex. Casserole. I'd love to do something with um, glitch effects as well, so I'm going to go uh, ill-formed glitch 2. 
Oh gosh. Uh, we'll do a four beat section. I'm just going to clear. Oh. Oh, that doesn't work. Uh, so, I'm going to take. What do I want? Oh, yeah, we're going to put it there. Oh, it's an absolute casserole. An absolute casserole. An absolute casserole. An absolute. An absolute casserole. Um. Absolute casserole. So then, we're going to loop that. Absolute casserole. Absolute casserole. Absolute casserole. Absolute casserole. Absolute casserole. Absolute casserole. Absolute cas. Absolute cas. Absolute cas. Absolute cas. Absolute cas. Absolute cas. Absolute casserole. Absolute casserole. Absolute casserole. Absolute that's kind of what I want. Um, but we're going to do a couple of different versions of that. So that snapped to the start there. So we're going to take that and then put it here. So off, on, off, on, off, on. And then uh, nothing at the end. Um, so in this first one, uh, we, we're going to use the the mix automation to bring that effect in and out. I selected the wrong thing. Um, so in this first one, we're going to bring it in for the word casserole. And for the other one, we're going to bring it in for the word absolute. So we have two different effects, basically. Absolute, 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 uh, casserole. Uh, so that the word the all of casserole is like a little bit longer, or maybe that. Uh, casserole. I'm going to clean yourself up if you want. Awful. Uh, casserole. You can go and clean yourself up if you want. Thanks, Alex. Uh, what do we got now? Oh, it's an absolute casserole. Absolute casserole. Absolute You can go and clean yourself up. Hey, Alice, how's it going? Oh, it's an absolute casserole. Absolute casserole. Absolute Clean yourself up if you want. Thanks, Alex. Uh, I'm gonna now that we've got the glitch in there. I'm just gonna process it a little bit as if it's a vocal. So we're just gonna go uh, frequency. We're gonna go um, let's see what it's got for vocal or voice uh, or male male vocal fullness. Oh, it's an absolute casserole. That's actually nice. Absolute. Oh, it's an absolute casserole. Yeah. Oh, it's an absolute casserole. And then we're absolute. gonna we're gonna compress it somehow as well. Uh, casserole. Absolute. That's a bit better. Ooh, seek and destroy. Very cool. Uh, casserole. Yeah, I'm good. I'm just remixing an awful fart noise from Taskmaster last night because I'm a 30-year-old man and that's what I've chosen to do. Um, I wonder if I change... 
casserole. The algorithm to something slightly less um, gritty. And I, I like tape a lot. I like the, the feel of the tape um, algorithm, but it does change the pitch quite dramatically. <coughs> yeah, so not that. <coughs> yeah, it's just going to stay grainy and weird. <coughs> You can go and clean yourself up if you want. Thanks, Alex. Uh, okay, so I think that's sort of everything I want to do. Or do we could put some glitch stuff. Maybe if I have a moment. It could. It could. Maybe if I have a moment. Maybe if I have a moment. It could. It could. It could. It could be that something happens. I mean, it must be possible, right? What changed? What changed? It was excellent real effort. Oh, it's an absolute casserole. I think I like the the bass dive, but I think it's got to be faster than that. It's an absolute casserole. Much better. Oh, it's an absolute casserole. An absolute ca an absolute casserole. You can go and clean yourself up if you want. Thanks, Alex. Uh, we're also going to stick that right down the center uh we're going to use stereo enhancer and use it backwards basically um stereo enhancer width um just in this middle bit uh we're gonna just dip that all the way down Absolutely. just because it gives a bit more centralization makes it feel more like a vocal oh, it's an absolute casserole Maybe that bit could be wider. Oh, it's an absolute casserole. An absolute, an absolute, an absolute casserole. casserole. You can go and clean yourself up if you want. Thanks, Alex. That's good. Right, we're going to render that and then we're going to jump into uh, the video editor. And we're going to make it real silly. Uh, so I want a interleaved mix, um, and we're going to use the actual mix down project folder. Absolute casserole. <laughs> Such a stupid name. Uh, export audio. Ellis, I watched this video of uh, this band of fourteen-year-olds who were supposed to play in Sandman and then played an awesome performance of Master of Puppets. Oh, that's the same song, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I um I sort of hate watching videos of like super young kids like teenage like pre teenagers um and everyone's amazed that they're playing so well but it's like yeah but they're not going to stick at it are they you what you've done is you you've essentially taken your kids and bullied them into spending all their time practicing guitar rather than socializing your children um I hate watching things like that. And it's really funny when they get the track wrong because you know it's just their parents looking up what bands are popular, going, oh yeah, Metallica. And then completely disregarding that their kids have learnt the wrong song because they also don't know how YouTube works. Um, I'm not bitter. I am a little bitter. Uh, okay, so Wozniak Vid Remix. Um, this this is the bit where it could all like fall apart and just be an impossible... Um, an impossible project. Maybe not, I don't know. Uh, oh yeah, I... Specify a new location or replacement pile. Uh, specify, yeah, okay. Because I, I moved all the things, didn't I? Um, mm, 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 doing admin. Um, what's ARA? Uh, video bits. So which bit is it looking for? 
12, 23, 22. 12, 23, 22. Yes to all, please. Right, so this is the, the video clips that I legally acquired from um, from Channel 4. Don't tell them. Because uh, they're not going to sue me because I don't have any money. Um, so this is the, the track that we want to stick the video to. Most of this first half is just exactly as it appears in the original video. Um, Anything else you able to do at this stage? Um, Here we go. <laughs> it's that line, isn't it? Anything else you're able to do at this stage? Can I have a moment? Can I have a moment? <laughs> Nothing else you able to do at this stage? Well, if I, I mean, I, maybe if I have a moment. Maybe if I have a moment. Maybe if I have a moment. I'm going to make the waveform a bit bigger. And I do apologise because I know that you can't all see all of my screen because I'm in the way. Uh, it's fine. Maybe if I have a moment. Okay, could, so that's then that, that first half just done. I mean, it must be possible, right? It all changed. It all changed. That was excellent real effort. Uh, so it's when he d when he does the stupid fart noise and his head goes up. We want that to happen on the beat. Um, you're only <laughs> like 200 quid off your Les Paul. That's nuts. Good job, buddy. That's a whole lot of money. <laughs> um, so then we want the end bit where he says, do you want to go clean yourself up? I think I probably need to check myself. Anyway, so... Yeah, quite a long wait for that. Not very satisfying. Yeah, quite a long wait for that. And I think I probably need to check my... No, I've stopped before. Wow. Not very satisfying. Yeah, quite a long wait for that. And I think I probably need to check myself. Anyway, so... I'll see you later. <laughs> um, I swear does that take Go clean yourself up if you want. Thanks. Go clean yourself up if you want. I'll see you later. So where did that bit come from? Oh, I don't know. No, I've stopped before. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Not very satisfying. Yeah, quite a long wait for that. And I think I probably need to check myself. Anyway, so I'll, I'll see you later. But <laughs> if you want. Thanks, Alex. Uh, we'll, we'll find that later. Uh, so the bit where he then says absolute casserole. Oh, it's an absolute casserole. Then. Which is like there. That's good. So we need that a few times. Uh... It's an absolute. Oh, and that's great because I left that really obvious so I can see where it sinks. Oh, it's an absolute casserole. Oh, it's an absolute casserole. Absolute. Absolute. And then that's just stretched out, isn't uh, So then if we get that and we stretch it to be like Point two. You can go cool. Uh, so then it's just a case of. Oh, it's an absolute casserole. Uh, getting the gaps sorted a bit. So we want to get rid of that bit of Greg. It's an absolute casserole. Maybe we cut into something else for that. An absolute and then there's a glitch effect there, isn't there? Absolute. 
and that bit needs to be glitchy as well. So let's take care of them because those are actually represented in the track, so we want to make sure they're proper. Um, oh, it's an absolute casserole. Um, maybe for that bit we get his reaction from there. Because uh, it's such a funny, like, his head appearing is such a funny moment there. Maybe we speed it up. Let's go three times as fast, please. I am wrong. Let's try that. Hold. <laughs> and so this bit needs to be all crazy uh so we could try i don't know we could just try going through those that might be fun uh so we're just gonna auto we're just gonna animate that start to finish all the way through um, and maybe we're going to start with that sort of saturation uh, down a bit. Uh, this is all video stuff now, <laughs> uh, just by the way. So uh, we're going to have these up here. And then down here, we're just going to have luminance as one, saturation as one. So it's going to start kind of normal. And then it's going to do the weird color thing. Or maybe we have that for that. I don't know. Uh, let's flip it horizontally just for a bit of variety. And maybe we'll stick the mirror effect on. That's often fun. Uh, so we'll go mirror like that. And we'll go, uh, is it 90 or minus 90? Can't remember. Minus 90? There we go. Um, slow zoom in for that spread out of the voice. I don't know. And maybe we do something like we, we saturate it a crazy amount or we add a load of uh, film grain and stuff. Uh, where's saturation? Um, so we'll do saturation first. Um, oh, we're just going to do all of those things, I think. Up to here. Amount, lots, center. Oh, that doesn't actually matter. Uh, spread, lots, low, quite a bit, high, quite a bit. And then we'll do the film grain as well. Um... Oh, we can't actually animate that. That's annoying. We'll just have a little bit on there. And I want the animation out to be kind of smooth, so it's not just blur. It's like... Bleh. You know what I mean. Um... And also that needs to be kind of janky, so I'm going to speed it up quite a lot. And we're just going to, like, repeat it. Paste, uh, paste, 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 paste. Um... Maybe not. Maybe it needs to be black and white. Nah, I can't bother. Um, um, maybe that needs like a TV distortion on it or something. Um, yeah, TV simulator.
nah, I don't like it. I'm just going to bin all of them, and we're just going to do the exact same thing. We're going to make him fast, and then we're just going to copy it a whole bunch. That's pretty funny. It's an absolute casserole. Might zoom in that one as well. Just for effect. It's an absolute casserole. It's an absolute casserole. Cool. Um, so the reaction to his awful bum noise. Um, I think we want to speed that up quite a lot. Uh, so his head kind of snaps up as the beat drops. Um, I think also here we want to cut and do a slow zoom into his face, into his little face. Oh, and of course we need to keep that. Uh, we need to keep that framing there, don't we? Track seems quite low here. Hmm. Oh, it's an absolute casserole. Uh, now we need lots of bits of him, like, doing his awkward trying to fart <laughs> dancing. Uh, Ellis broke my high E string yesterday. Literally cried. <laughs> yeah, I, I do that all the time. I, I always seem to... If, if I buy spare guitar strings... I then never have to, they'll never break. They only break when I like, I've chosen to replace them and then I've got none, I've got no spares. Um, it's a real pain in the butt. Um, I know I've got some spares somewhere, but I don't know what they are, so I'm going to do the same thing. If I break a guitar string, I'm going to just flip the house upside down trying to find them. Um, so let, let's cut up some of these because we can get some wacky... Uh, dance moves out of that. Mike Wozniak might be my hero. Uh, so we'll get that bit before he... before he turns. I think that's quite fun as well. I'm going to stick that there. I'm stick this here. Maybe I'll put that in there. I'm, I'm basically just finding bits of him doing silly stuff that I can then kind of chop up to the beat. We're just going to frame that in a little bit. Um, what else have we got? Uh, we'll put a mirror on this one as well. I'm going to shove Mike off to the side slightly so that I can put a mirror on it and it doesn't, like, ruin the shot. Um, so I need effects, mirror... And then, I can't remember, I think it's minus 90. Nope. 90? Yes. Uh, so then I can move him slightly more inwards. There we go. Oh, it's an absolute casserole. I need a few more clips. Um...
like that might be good. Oh, it's an absolute casserole. Uh, what if we speed that up a little bit as well, like 1.5 or something? Oh, it's an absolute ca oh, it's an absolute casserole. Oh, it's an absolute casserole. Uh, let's do like a transition between those two. Oh, except not with Greg's face. Um, we'll go... I don't know. Linear wipe or something. For three frames. We don't want any feather there, I don't think. Yeah, there we go. Absolute casserole. Um, um, I kind of want to make it really obvious that, that that squishy fart noise, that that lead melody is the squishy fart noise, so I might try and follow the melody with his face reaction. Um... So like wah 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 wah. Group and copy. Um, that's oh, quite a lot there, so we'll go. We'll speed it up a bit more. Oh, you can only do four. Um, I just group copy. Um, I think we might punch in for that second. Um, yeah, even more of a punch in. Uh, copy. I suppose I could just do it the easy way. Copy. Paste, 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 I think. <laughs> An absolute casserole. An absolute, an absolute casserole. Just gonna stretch out these ones. And where it cuts to his close up, we're gonna make it slightly less fast. So it doesn't cut away. Let's try that. And there's lots of trial and error when you're doing video to music because my graphics card doesn't let me see things uh, especially fast. 
Let's that one out too. We'll go 2.7 for a bit of variety. And we'll go through there. An absolute casserole. An absolute, an absolute casserole. Uh, let's find some more uh, Mike Wozniak doing silly things like that. Uh, paste that in. Casserole. An absolute, an absolute casserole. Um, there's more stuff like uh, Greg Davis laughing that we could use. I think that's pretty visceral, his reaction. Uh, so we'll shove that in maybe here. Or we could have all of the them going... <laughs> Which I think is probably perfect. Let's go. Uh, we'll speed that up by two. Because then the, 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 the drum fill comes in there. Uh, And then we can have all of their other reactions. So she can go there. Uh, who else we got? Oops, I didn't want to cut the music there. Um... She's loving it. Uh, so I might have her at the end just losing it. You, you can go and clean yourself up. You can go. And, you can go and clean yourself up if. Uh, more reactions. Um. More ideally disgusted reactions. That would be ideal. Uh, hidden laughing could be good. Uh, I'll also take uh, Alex Horn. Who's got like a shock face as well? You can go and clean yourself up. Um. Yeah, Alex one's got like a disgust face somewhere. If I can just find it, that'd be really handy. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Why is it in here? Come on, little Alex Horn, where are you? Uh, well, he got him clapping there. I kind of wanted him doing a horrified face because I'm sure there was one. I'm just going to paste that there so we have it. Oh, yeah, there he is. That's what I want. I want disgust. I want absolute displeasure. Uh, cool. And then we're just going to zoom in on him. Swoop. 
There he is. You can go and clean yourself up if you want. Thanks, Alex. Uh, so we have a little gap here, and then we want that end phrase, which is really annoying because I'm I'm sure. Well, where would I have got it from otherwise if it's not here? Tiny, tiny little pop. Oh, I've stopped the clock. Wow. Not very satisfying. Yeah, quite a long wait for that. And I think I'd probably need to check myself. Anyway, so I'll, I'll see you later. <laughs> uh, so what is this phrase? You can go and clean yourself up if you want. Thanks, Alex. Oh, it's at the very start. Right. Because it's from the other task. People who are watching this who haven't seen Taskmaster are going to be so confused. It's from the very, very start. I mean, it must be possible. Mm -mm -mm. Here we go. <laughs> you can go and clean yourself. There, perfect. Uh, although, actually... No. Because that that's obviously talking about something that isn't the fart. So we'll we'll just get footage of him like walking away through the door. I think. No one's gonna know. It's fine. I'm just gonna shove that over there. You want. Thanks. Okay, thanks, Alex. There, I think. You can go and clean yourself up if you want. Thanks, Alex. Hmm. Nah, it doesn't work, does it? Because you need the... You need the, um... Him mouthing, thanks, Alex. So I'm just, I'm just going to put it here and, like, it either makes sense or it doesn't, whatever. Um... Clean yourself up if you want. You can go and clean yourself up if you want. Thanks, Alex. And we'll, yeah, we'll mute the sound there. You can go and clean yourself up if you want. Thanks, Alex. I think I need to just zoom in to get rid of that recording has started image. Give away my trade secrets. You can go and clean yourself up if you want. Thanks, Alex. Uh, okay. So we've got a little gap here. We just want to fill with more stupid dancing. Um, maybe we just take that bit and rather than speeding up we maybe slow it down or something yeah, if we slow it down quite a lot and go like 0.4 or something and then we can do the mirror effect again if we put him off to the side uh, we'll go mirror Mm -mm -mm. If I can find the damn thing. Mirror. I think it's over 90 or minus 90. Maybe we can get a bit more creative with the angle there as well. <laughs> Zoom in on his bum. Actually, yeah, that's kind of funny. You can go and clean yourself up if you want. Thanks, Alex. Uh, okay, so... That was excellent, real effort. I think we're basically there. Casserole. Let's do a series of mirrors for like this one. Um, so we'll have him in in the bottom left there. We'll maybe zoom that kind of way. Uh, so then we'll go two instances of mirror. Turn off the first one. Uh, so we're just going to go 90 degrees uh, minus 90. That's nice, and then uh, 
180. There we go. And then let's just try and fill those in a bit. That's kind of what we want, I think. Everything will be slightly further away. Uh, that also feels quite dark now, so I'm going to add a uh, curves adjustment. And we're just going to increase the whole thing a bit. There we go. Uh, for fun, let's uh, just pan the word casserole across the screen. Uh, so we'll go uh, is it project media, media generation, tiles and text. Whenever it loads, there it is. I'm also going to Google the word casserole just to make sure I get the spelling right. Yes. Uh, so then we want all the text is there. Casserole. Uh, what's a nice standard text? Comic Sans. That'll do. That's quite nice and bubbly. We want like 200, 250, 260. Nice. Um, we're going to give it an outline. Black. That sort of thickness. And we're just going to pan that word across the screen. And I realize my mistake now. It can't be that big. Um, because we actually, we need to make it as big as we can, and then we're just going to pan it in the screen. Oh, unless we can animate the location. That might be the easiest way to do it. So that was 260. Uh, 260, thank you. Uh, so we want to animate location to start. Oh, geez. Uh, point one. No, so we want it to start one and then finish zero. No. No, that's not what we want. Uh, one and point five. Ah, okay. And then over here, we want it to be a zero and point five. No, it's got to start. It's got to be like. Uh, Minus 10 or something. Oh, nearly. Uh, we'll go minus 15. Uh, too much. Minus 12. Nearly. Uh, minus 14 then. And then this is gone forever. That's weird. Uh, so we'll go minus... 12.2, I guess. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, so then it's got to start at uh, 12, doesn't it? Oh, and then it never comes in. Interesting. So maybe it starts at 10. No. Uh, can't make this window much bigger. Yeah, what's the problem, huh? Uh, if it starts three. Okay, so if it does that, we at least then... Oh, yeah, three is perfect. Because we also sort of have the option... Oh, we need that to be better... Uh, if it ends well, minus three, because it's weird that hmm, no, it's weird that it you can do minus, you can do three on one side, but it's got to be like literally minus twelve on the other one. Oopsie, oopsie, poopsie. Uh, 
Uh, so actually we can start on two, maybe. Uh, 2.5. 2.5 is good, because then we can, we can animate it as well. Uh, so then it needs to end 13. Not quite 13.2. Let's go 14. Okay. So then we can... We got the end of the word on there, so we're nearly there. Uh, we can start this animation over here. And then this one over here. So they're both panning across the screen. Uh, no, we can't do that, can we? Because of the thing we all just saw. Uh, okay, so instead... We're just going to work out when that C is about to hit that side of the screen. Like there, and we're going to push that there. And we're going to do a smooth animation as well. And we maybe blur it when it comes in as well. I think we can leave that intro there. And now it's just gone completely. Uh, so let's just nerf all of that. Let's just get rid of the whole thing. Delete, delete, delete. Uh, oh, I know what I did. I'm an idiot. That's all it is. Um, so we need to start there. And then bring it in smooth. Okay, right. I'm just an idiot, basically. Yeah, that's good. Then maybe do we have it, like, not entirely opaque? <laughs> Clean yourself up if you want. Thanks, Alex. Cool. Uh, we're going to export that and we're going to see what it looks like. And if it's fine, I'm just going to stick it online and, um, you know, for, for Channel 4 to not retweet. Um, I probably should have checked the project settings as well. Our frame rate of 60, that's fine. Although, frame rate of 60 is going to be a pain in the ass. Nah, it's probably fine. Uh, we'll do that. Right, ladies and gents, thank you so much for this ever so slightly longer than normal uh, live stream. Um, I, I fully intend to do stupid things on the internet until I literally can't anymore. Um, and it's always funny when something uh, in my wheelhouse, like Taskmaster or, well, so far, mostly just Taskmaster, something I watch that uh, sort of goes slightly viral and then I'm like, oh, yeah, no, I... I totally feel like i can remix this thing without feeling like i'm just uh infringing on something that other people enjoy that i don't really enjoy because i like taskmaster and screw you if you don't like taskmaster taskmaster is the best um got a bit aggressive there for no reason didn't i anyway uh next stream will be monday 8 p.m uh the usual time 8 p.m uk time and then back again on saturday a week from today uh yeah i've got nothing else to say so uh if you want to catch up with me i'm on twitter lt guitarist the instagram has just changed to lt guitarist which is uh, a blessing frankly because that's been annoying me ever so slightly for ages so it's lt guitarist across the board except for youtube which is still liam Ga taylor guitar but nah what you gonna do uh come hang out on twitter that's what you're gonna do i need to stop talking see you later thrown out of the meeting like we were last time. As long as we have reasonable behaviour from everyone, no one would be excluded from the meeting. I, w I, was, I was thrown out of the meeting. Uh, so I was quite right, right, right. This um, is what you please. Please, let me just. If you disrupt this meeting, I will have to remove you from it. You can't. This um, is what you please. You can't. You have no authority here, Jackie Weaver. No authority. No authority. No authority. You have no authority. No authority. No authority, no authority. No authority. No authority. No authority. No authority. at all.
He just kicked him out. Don't, 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 don't. This is a meeting called by two councillors. Illegally. Read the standing orders. I take charge. This is a meeting. Read them and understand them. I take charge. Illegally. I take charge. I take. Where's the chairman? Where's the chairman gone? Councillor Burkle, we've been through this. What are you talking about? You don't know what you're talking about. You have no authority here, Jackie Wheeler. No authority. No authority at all. No authority. You have no authority. No authority. No authority at all. Can I propose John Smith, please? I'll second it. Thank you. So when I was at music college, we had... Um, the